All righty. Um, first off, before I get into this video, I just want to say that I am not getting involved um, in anything to do with Marine Land. I have deleted my videos on Marine Land, um, and I have not visited Marine Land this season. So, with that said, this video is not in support of Marine Land. It is to touch on what I know about the subject, and I can actually say. I'm fairly certain I know a lot about what's going on right now, and anyone that knows me closely knows that I know probably pretty accurate information, but I'm going to put a disclaimer right here right now to save me from <laughs> the angry man at Marineland. Um, with that being said, everything that I'm about to discuss is alleged until Marineland makes an announcement. And, uh, yeah, so I'll get right into it. There, You saw BlogTO post a little story saying Marineland will not open in 2022. And then they went on to go quote um, a guy named Phil on Twitter um, as an accurate source. And I'm not going to discredit Phil, it, Phil's opinions on Marineland whatsoever. Uh, my opinions have changed over the years, I guess. I have always only wanted Marineland to succeed as a theme park. And I definitely, you know, thought there were things not happening that maybe were happening, but I'm not going to get into that. This video isn't about that. But I can confirm that Marineland is going to open in 2022. Uh, Marineland, there's proof of Marineland ordering brand new parts for a lot of the rides that didn't open in 2021. Um, there's proof that the new ride's uh, construction has moved forward. Um, and the employees will be back in May as of 2022 as well. With that being said, if that's not proof enough, um, I don't know what else I can provide for you, but I do know that the rumors of Marineland not opening in 2022 have zero basis whatsoever. And I'm not saying that, again, to piss off um, the animal rights activists at all. I understand your opinions. Trust me, I do. And I get being frustrated with the park. But the park is opening in 2022, regardless if you like it or not. Now, the good news, potentially good news, is I don't think that the current owners of Marineland are still the owners of Marineland. And again, this is alleged until Marineland makes an announcement. But I have been hearing rumblings, and anyone that knows me knows that my rumblings um, in terms of rides, attractions, and things at Marineland tend to be very accurate. We've predicted all the rides successfully. We've talked about what's coming, what's going to be closed, what's not going to open, and it's all been accurate. With that being said, I do have a feeling that Marineland has officially gone through with a sale. Um, and uh, you're going to learn about the sale over the next couple of years. You're not going to see anything drastic. And eventually, uh, there are some really cool investments coming to this park. Uh, again, this is all legit. I have to stress that enough because there's an angry lawyer. <laughs> um, but with that being said, um, I do think that Marineland has an extremely bright future. It's going to probably transition into a new name with some new rides and move away from the animal captivity. That's about as much as I can talk about um, without digging myself too dangerous of a hole and without getting too involved with the animal right activists versus marine land again all i want is for marine land to exist with the rides i am a theme park enthusiast i'm a roller coaster enthusiast i am a ride enthusiast and competition for my favorite park canada's wonderland is healthy and it's great and that is why i want marine land to some sort of extent survive and succeed but I am not having my bias opinions create the information I am providing in this video as I said I did not go to Marineland once this season and I made that a decision and a choice and anyone who has followed me over the years I have defended them previously um, but I made that choice based off of information that came to light um, and I made that based off of that information. Regardless if that information was 100% accurate or not, I'm not one to um, give my opinion on that. I just made a rational decision as a human being to not go. With that being said, I do think that I will be going in 2022, um, and we will all learn about that reasoning very shortly. So 
I'll quickly go over the facts just one more time. Marineland will open in 2022. Um, there is potential that Marineland has been sold and it has already gone through. And you're going to see some really cool investments over the next couple of years. And you're going to see the park transitioning into a new image over the next couple of years. And we'll obviously hear an announcement over the next couple of years about who purchased Marineland. Um, uh, that's all the information I can provide right now. Um, I don't know what else to say. Again, it's a really uncomfortable video for me to make. Um, I'm really not trying to piss anyone off again. I just, um, our DMs were blowing up on Instagram. A lot of people were like, well, is this true? Is this true? Again, nothing you read on blog TO is true. And if it is true, it's been stretched. Uh, blog TO and Narcity and Six Buzz and all of them have been posting the most clickbait articles beyond belief, and it's just been getting worse and worse. And this is one of those things that they just decided to speak on without actually speaking to anyone official in terms of knowing the information. Obviously, you're not going to get an answer out of Marineland themselves. I understand that. But there are other people they could have reached out to to get a better understanding. And um, yeah, if you just do your research, you'll know that Marineland isn't going anywhere anytime soon. Regardless of current owners or new owners, uh, Marineland had one of its most successful seasons um, in 2021. Again, not giving my opinion on that. I did not go or support them, but I do know that COVID has benefited the park. Um, so whether that be unfortunately or unfortunate news to you or good news to you as a theme park um, or a fan of Marineland, take that however you will. They did have a good year um, in terms of, you know, the past four years, five years. And the new ride will be open in 2022, and Dragon Mountain will be open in 2022, and any flat ride that was down in 2021 will be open in 2022, as they have had their parts ordered for them. Yeah, um, hopefully this clears things up. Again, as you can tell, I am really uncomfortable. I'm sorry if I sound uncomfortable or weird in this video. It's just I didn't want to make this video, and I didn't want to touch um, this park with a 10-foot pole right now. Um, but, uh, I, I do feel like I, with what I know or what I think I know, say allegedly, I did feel like I wanted to speak on, um, that. So hopefully this helps answer any questions. Um, for you roller coaster enthusiasts, the main thing you've been worried about is Dragon Mountain. It is going to open next year. It had its parts ordered. It is ready to go now. And, uh, yeah, have a good, uh, have a good weekend, everyone. See you at Halloween Haunt this weekend. Um, feel free to come hang out or say hey. And I already know there's going to be some angry comments down below. I understand your frustration if you are against Marineland. Trust me. I understand this isn't against you. I'm not presenting this information to defend Marineland. I'm literally presenting what I know as facts, allegedly. And I just have to speak on it. Anyways, have a good one, guys. Bye.